Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, quick YouTube video where I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful and useful statistics using the checkbox method in Notion. You see up top that's what we're going to build today. Uh, the checkbox method is a very simple um, easily adaptable uh, method that you can use uh, for pretty much any Notion workspace to create some statistics. I'm going to use it today for a task manager but you could use it just as well for like your books or for your note-taking system. Pretty much anywhere in your Notion workspace where you're using a database, you can use this checkbox method to create some useful insights. And we're going to do so by using three uh, features of Notion. First, rollups, second, templates, and lastly, um, some formulas. And <laughs> that's all basically that it there is to the checkbox method, so let's dive right in. Uh, as you can see, I've set up a very simple task manager here, just a name property, a checkbox property, a due date and a deadline, and the automatically populated last edited field. And now the first thing that we need to do is to create a statistics database that we can use to gather all our information. So I'm just going to create an inline table here. Oops, uh, that was actually like the link database. Uh, no, we want a table. Uh, and we're going to call it statistics. It uh, doesn't matter what you call it, doesn't matter whether it's inline or not, just uh, create a separate database. You can remove all entries, part one, and that one I'm going to call my stats, but as I said, could be any name. Now, uh, in order to collect information from this database into this one, we're going to need a relation. Uh, so I'm going to uh, quickly create uh, a relation between the two of them. Oops. Don't know what this is, just gonna delete this. Uh, might be from <laughs> an earlier try to make this video work. So uh, we're gonna create a relation, I'm just gonna call this relation to tasks. Um, pick this option and I'm gonna find my tasks database. Here it is, and I'm gonna create the relation. So um, hopefully, if we go in here now, our task shop, yep, and here it is. Uh, so now those two uh, databases are connected and now we need to make sure that all our entries from the task database are mentioned for the stats. Otherwise we won't collect information about all of them. And there are actually two ways to do this. First, you probably already have a bunch of entries in your old database and you don't want to go in and manually add them back to my stats. So the way you can like bulk uh, add all your existing entries is by um, taking this database, and we actually need to have it uh, for this as a page. Uh, take this database, click pretty much anywhere, press escape to move out, and then press uh, command R or what, uh, like control A on the windows to select all entries, and then right click pretty much anywhere here, say edit property, pick the relation, and add my stats. That way, at once, you connect all your existing entries to uh, the statistics database and now we can turn this back into an inline database. And the second thing what you want to do in order to make sure that all new tasks are always connected to the statistics database is you want to set up a template. Uh, if you already use the template you can simply edit it. If not you just go in here say new task and you're gonna pick related to statistics and say my stats. That way each time you're uh, creating uh, a new entry, it will be connected to your statistics uh, and you never have to worry about setting it up manually. So that's how we would use templates. Just gonna delete this here because we're not gonna create anything new and that's it. So we've made sure that all our entries from the task database are always connected to my stats. I'm actually gonna quickly wrap this just so that it looks a bit better. And now we can start to collecting insights. The first and <laughs> easiest thing that we can collect is we can ask uh, Notion whether our tasks are done. Or in other words, we can ask how many uh, things do we still need to do. And to do so, we're gonna create our first rollup. I'm gonna label it hashtag open tasks and the naming convention will become clearer in a moment. We're gonna pick rollup. We're gonna choose the existing relation to tasks. And then the property where we want to have information for is the done field. And we don't want to see the checkboxes. We want to know how many 
boxes are unchecked. Three, correct. And you see, if I check another one, this goes down, so fully responsive. Perfect. So now we know how many tasks are still open. Um, but let's take, uh, it's very simple if you already have a checkbox, but let's take the example um, of the due date. How many of our tasks do we need to do today? Um, we can do that really very easy with a filter, but uh, I would like to see just a number. Uh, and we can't just go in and uh, ask it with a rollup uh, to show us today because that function is not there. If we say like uh, tasks today uh, and pick a rollup and then we select the uh, relation again and the due date, uh, we only can like count the values, we can give a range or something like that, but we can't just say count the numbers that are today. So how do we do that? Well, simple, we use the checkbox method. Uh, basically what we're gonna try to do is every information that we want in our statistics database has to turn into a yes or no question to Notion. So we need to create formulas and ask Notion a simple yes or no question about whatever thing it is we want to know. So in terms of this one, we would like to know, is this task due today? Or do we have to do this task today? So let's uh, create a new uh, property, let's call it today, and this is a formula. And to check whether a task is today, we basically want to check whether the due date equals today. Um, and the formula for this would be, I'm just going to put in all the formulas uh, you can find uh, in the blog post that I've linked below. So uh, if you don't want to type here with me, uh, go there, click there, and then you can see them all collected in one place. But it would be format date, uh, and then we want today. We want to have it formatted in a specific way so that we can actually compare it. And then you see now it filled today. And then we want to know whether today is equal, and in Notion formulas, equal means we need to use two equal signs, uh, whether today is equal to and we're gonna use again format date and this time we're gonna pick our due date we're gonna format it the same way and there we go you see now we get a checkbox a positive checkbox for each task that is due today you can see that if I pick here today checked if I pick something else unchecked perfect because now you can go in again and ask the rollup to not check the due date but to check our today formula and count our check boxes. Today we need to do two tasks. Pretty simple, right? So that's all that is there is to the checkbox method. We simply ask our Notion database a yes or no question using a formula and then we count the check boxes using a rollup. Let's do another one. Shall we do um, what about, um, oh yes, upcoming deadlines. So for this one, we're gonna we want to know um, which deadlines, how many deadlines do I have in the next week? And to do that, we're gonna uh, need to. Uh, uh, the, what I found what works is to use something that's called an AND formula. Uh, an AND formula you want to use every time uh, you test like several things, because um, in my case, I only want to see upcoming deadlines, not the deadlines that are already in the past. So to do that, I'm going to start with AND. And that basically means I can add now as many uh, things <laughs> inside that I want to be true at the same time. And what I want is I want to have the date between um, our uh, deadline property and today in days and I want this to be bigger as smaller than 7 so I want to uh, have um, all um, deadlines that are uh, within the next 7 days but I don't want any deadlines that are in the past so I'm gonna uh, with the same formula structure gonna exclude uh, all um, 
dates that are in the past, so that are smaller than zero. And if everything is right, yep. Uh, as I said, like all these formulas, you can find in the blog post linked in the description below. So now we have uh, a checkbox for every deadline in the next week. But you see, if I put this uh, oops, this uh, here in the past, it won't check it. If it's in this week, check. If it's in the past, uncheck. You can use. Uh, I prefer to use like a different formula to check whether something is overdue. And with the upcoming deadlines, I really only want to see what's <laughs> still fresh on the plate. And you know the drill here. Uh, we're gonna ask again uh, for deadlines with a hashtag. We're gonna use uh, our rollup, and we're gonna uh, pick the task database. We want upcoming deadlines, and we want in this case checked one upcoming deadline. Perfect. Let's do um, one last thing here. Or yes, one last thing. Uh, let's check for how many tasks I've actually done today. So. Uh, it will be a formula as well, and we basically uh, oops, to check for this. So you, you see, it's it's just like a matter of rephrasing your questions notion. So in this uh, case, I wanna also like check for two things. I wanna check that something is done, and I wanna check that it was done today. So and because it's two things, um, our done property is supposed to be true. That means it's checked, and Second thing, I want that um, it was done today. So I'm going to check for now, today again. Um, format it in a way that it like will equal the other thing. And then I want to equal that to the last additive property. Because usually you won't put like a date in uh, when you finish something. But the last edit property will automatically change when you check the done field. And after you've done a task, uh, you want to go back into the task to edit it. So the last edit field will always or usually always res uh, um, be equal to the day where you've done it. So uh, we are at format date. So now we need uh, our property. We want the last edited uh, field. And that last edited field, we're going to also format correctly and now we need to find our mistake let me quickly go back in to the tutorial oops can't bother looking for the mistake just just gonna copy paste the ah i think we no, last edit is this look this is labeled done why is it actually not working so this is true. This is true. Do we have like a bracket missing here? Hmm. Now, uh, I'm going to figure that out uh, uh, somewhere else uh, in the blog post. There will be the correct formula. But just know, in general, like if you would have, if I would have typed it that correctly, we could figure that out as well. Um, but let's just move on uh, to actually uh, turn these numbers into some pretty information like this. And for that, we're going to go back in here. And now it's going to become clear why I use these hashtags here, because now for every uh, number, I'm going to create a separate formula to return this text response. And just to make it a bit less confusing, I'm going to use always the hashtag for the number field and then the same name without the hashtag for the text. So let's start with open tasks. And I'm going to use formula again. And the formula that we're going to use to do this it's called concat. With concat, you can combine um, basically uh, a number with any text that you want. So we want um, to have, uh, let's take uh, maybe a smiley. We have uh, this uh, task symbol and then um, you, you have, and then this is before the number, and then we're going to add the plus sign and then um, after the plus sign we're gonna take the number and to we can't take the number directly we need to format it as a as a string so we're gonna use format and then our open task and again like you just you don't need to understand the formulas you can just copy paste them from um, the blog post as you've seen before like <laughs> I also make mistakes there uh, it's always something you need to wrap your brain around and then we after we put now the number, put the end text, so we have 
you have the, the, the open tasks. So close it, close it, perfect. And you see, we get a value returned. You have three open tasks. And now we can uh, uh, repeat this. Uh, I would actually just copy this formula once you have it once, and we're gonna call this tasks today. It will be a formula again. In this formula, we're gonna use the same formula. We just need to replace this um, property, the open tasks, with our tasks today. You have the, and then adjust this. You have this many tasks today. Maybe let's take a different uh, symbol also. What about um, a calendar? That's nice. Perfect. And then lastly, let's do the deadlines. Um, and um, again, the same again. Paste the formula, uh, replace the property with the deadlines property, um, and take a symbol that's fitting, maybe the alarm clock you have, the, the upcoming deadlines. Perfect. Oops, didn't want to have that. So, and just like that, we created uh, all this information, but uh, we still want to display it differently. I mean, this is, uh, you can obviously like hide these uh, things, but yeah, uh, want to have it displayed differently. And what I would recommend for that is um, wherever you want to see your stats, you're going to create a link database to your statistics. And then you simply add a gallery view. You can delete the other view so that it never shows up. And then you simply set up this gallery view to uh, whatever information you want to have here displayed. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to say I want to first see it large. And the information that I want to see is I don't need to see my stats. Yeah? But I want to see um, the deadlines. I want to see the open tasks. And I want to see my tasks today. And I can rearrange this. Mm. Tasks today first. The output task next, deadline last, something like this, and there you go. Uh, pretty statistic page, pretty much everywhere you want it. Uh, you can play around with it. You can obviously uh, have here a bunch more uh, of these things and then create uh, several uh, of these information fields. Uh, what I like to do is also I want to usually hide this uh, in a toggle so that I only see the stats when I need them to. But yeah, that's the checkbox method. To uh, recap, you simply uh, create a separate statistics database, you relate it to your task database, and then you start asking Notion a bunch of yes, no questions. And once you go into it, like uh, in the blog post that I've linked below, there are a whole lot of other ideas that you can use um, and that you can adapt to your own use case. You can test whether like a certain status field uh, or like a multi-select has been assigned to it and so on and so on. Um, and yeah, with just these simple checkboxes, you can then create something like this to always know exactly uh, where your work is going and how much uh, stuff you actually have to do. That's it. Uh, if you found that helpful, uh, please share it with someone. i uh, love it if you uh, like and subscribe uh, to the channel. This is the first video. Let's see where the next one will come out. Um, but I can promise you lots of good Notion stuff uh, to come. Free templates, some cool tricks. And yeah, definitely check out the blog post. There I go into much more details. You also have the option to sign up for my newsletter if you do that. I'll send you like a much more elaborate task manager where this system is already set up, where this picture is also taken from. So yeah, would love to see you on the newsletter and uh, until the next time.